Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 1. We're in uh, the Boneyard, and we just got in a quest to kill the leader of the Blades, which is some kind of a gang that keeps attacking this town apparently. Um, but let's explore a little, hopefully. Who's this? A large muscular man. Okay, he probably sells stuff. Good day, what can I do for you? May I ask your name? Why, everyone just call me Smitty. Probably because I'm the local blacksmith. I'd like to buy something. I'd recommend that you check out Tyne's store, just to one side of the gates. I don't actually... Oh, well, there's a typo again. I don't actually sell anything here. I trade it to Tyne or the hub merchants for the goods. I'd like to buy something. <laughs> Can I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Where did you get all, the, uh, all of your shop equipment? Why, any competent blacksmith can make his own anvil. Of course, I really just sort of learned the craft by practice, but I made most of my own tools. What all do you make here? Mostly I make and repair tools and implements here. I also fix things for the hub merchants. With the help of Miles, the chemist, I reload bullets from time to time. Can you make guns and bullets? Well, building guns and making shells takes machining, and I just don't have the tools for that. But with the help of Miles, the chemist, I can reload old brass since I can cast bullets. Okay, thanks. Interesting. That's a really small town, actually. Anything here? We don't get many outsiders here. Who's this? A dark-skinned man adorned with bright scarves and trinkets. Hello, stranger. May I be of service? I'm just looking around. Uh, I'm getting to know the people of Aditum. I'm called Chuck. Welcome to Aditum. I'm afraid that most of the people here aren't too forthcoming with strangers, though. Yeah, I noticed. The people of Aditum have much to do in normal day. They do not want their work to be found wanting at the end of the day. Things do seem a little quiet around here. The regulators make sure of that. The people of Aditum sometimes suffer because of their strict rules. And you're okay with this? Since I wish to stay here, I accept the regulators as part of what uh, w uh, that which is added to them. However, I do what I can to lighten their lives. You do not seem to agree with what they do. The regulators protect their own interests, and I must respect that. I don't necessarily agree with that view, but can understand that. Okay, I thought he was going to attack me or something. That's what usually happens when, uh, yeah, whatever, when, uh, dialogue stops and just like that. A grungy man in dark blue clothes. Hey, I don't believe we've met. You are. I'm Metal Canyon. The pleasure's mine. I'm called Samuel. What do you do here? I'm a scav, a scavenger. My job is to search out all the boneyard for useful items and information. Dangerous work. Why is it dangerous? Well, you've got the death claws out there, ooh. And then you've got the regulators back here in Aditum. Both ain't the most forgiving types. How do you avoid the death claws? We work only at night, and we're good at what we do. But I'll admit, not everyone always comes back. I sent a guy out last week to look for some parts for Miles, and we haven't heard from him since. The last transmission I got from him was uh, that he'd found the parts and was on his way back. Huh. Why does it stop the dialogue? What was your job again? Have you scouted out any of the other areas? I've done a little scouting. What do you, what do you want to know about? The Blades. And the Blades are a pretty sorry sight for a group of people. They get by, though, and some of them might end up here in Aditum if they agree to what the regulators offer them to do. The Death Claws. Well, if you haven't seen them before, they're mean as hell and like nothing more than to rip a poor scav's heart out. I've heard there's a nest of them somewhere to the east of the Blades, but I haven't seen it myself. Gunrunners. The gunrunners moved into a big factory up northeast not long ago. Can't tell you much because they have a moat filled with radioactive sludge, and you gotta get through the death claws to get there. Followers of the apocalypse. The followers preach peace and tolerance. Nice idea, but impractical. They live in a big library to the northwest of us. The children of the cathedral are based out of a big church a ways uh, to the south of here. There are some strange things going on there. I've seen creatures that can't be human coming in and out of there. What? And if the stories are right, the church is built over an old vault which Aditum's predecessors lived in. Okay. 
see you around. Uh, oh, is that a doctor? Thin man in white smock. I don't believe we met. I'm Miles. What can I do for you? That smocks make you look like a scientist. Uh, what are you studying? I'm a chemist. Mostly, I make primer and powder so we, we can reuse the brass casings from bullets. But I also dabble with some other chemicals. Where do you get the sulfur, potassium, nitrate and other chemicals? That's because our intelligence is high. It's unusual to find someone who can appreciate chemistry. But to answer your question, some of the materials we get from the hub merchants, other I manufacture or just find in the area. For instance, the dung heaps from the Brahmin are a good source, as well as some of the st uh, strains of fungus that I cultivate. What other chemicals do you work with? Well, I've been trying to get uh, some strong acids so that Smitty can use them for etching. I also have been trying to make some permanent dyes and inks, but without access to natural inks, it's difficult. So you make bullets for Aditum? Yes, although Smitty is the one who actually casts the bullets, I just refill the brass casings. But the hub, hub merchants make a profit off you and the town. Yes, well, we have to make a living. Since the hydroponic farms aren't functioning, we have to buy food from the merchants. And bullets are the only thing we have to sell. I could try to get the parts to fix the hydroponic farms. Really? That would be wonderful. We're just missing a few parts, but I'm sure that if you could scrounge up the right pieces, we could be self-sufficient. Samuel might be able to give you some help. Okay, excellent. I like... Oh, I thought that was Samuel running to us. I like the sound of that. Hey, yeah, we see each other once more. What's up? Uh, wasn't this Samuel? Oh, I, th I thought, yeah, it is Samuel. Uh, there's no option for him to help. Why is it dangerous? Okay, so I guess I should only go there at night. I I assume. Okay, so Samuel is not going to help me. But it sounded like that guy that never returned had those parts. So, maybe we should go and do that. My health is not um, really in top shape, however. The signs of gang activity are evident in the partially rebuilt nightclub and tiny outposts here. Okay, I'm not sure I should be going here, but uh, let's see. A strong stout man with a bushy beard. Hello there. Member of the Blades. Have you ever seen the rain? Hmm. Yeah, I gotta be careful around here. I can die real quick. Hello, lad. What might you be looking for today? Who are you? Well, I'm McRae. I help the Blades. Some against the death clause in that regulator bunch. I, I don't know why I have that accent now. <laughs> Teach them a bit about protecting themselves against those nasties. What kind of stuff do you teach them? Well, especially is fighting with my fists and taking a punch or two more than the guy throwing at, him, at me. Sounds like a dumb idea. <laughs> do you think you could teach me anything? You seem to be an alright lad, but me time's busy with keeping the blades schooled. If things were to straighten themselves, I might be having the time then. Alright. What can you tell me about the blades? A good group of people is what the blades are. Stuck uh, here between the damn regulators and the death clause. Ain't men the happiest life for them, but they survive. Alright. Nothing. So, apparently they're not so bad? Who's this? An intense young man. Hello! I don't think I've seen you around before. Can I help you with anything? Who are you? I'm Michael. My wife Christine and I live here as blades and help with what we can. Can you tell me a little bit about the, uh, the boneyard? Sure. To the south is Aditum. Over to the northeast you'll find the gunrunners. But you'll have to get through the death clause to get them. To the west is the followers of the apocalypse. And to the far south... I've heard there is some kind of church. Why do you all live here? This is not as bad as it seems. The regulators and the death clause can cause problems. But our leader, Razor, has helped us a great deal over the past months. And more recently, McRae has been showing us uh, how to protect ourselves better. Okay. So where's the uh, leaders? Leaders. I'm looking for the leaders. That is a very beautiful young woman. Hello, how can I help you? Who are you? My name is Christine. I live here with my husband, Michael. Who's in charge around here? Razor keeps track of most things with the blades and helps us organize ourselves. 
Uh, is there anything else I should know? What? C D E D B D ducks. M R not ducks. O S M R C D wings. What? That was bizarre. This must be some kind of a. I have no idea. Tell me about death claws. Never heard of it. Yeah, right. Can you tell me a little bit about the area? Mike and I have just moved here, so I haven't been uh, seen much of the area. I've heard about a large church to the south, but it sounds mostly like rumors. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, A very beautiful woman with a sad look in her eyes. There's a lot of very beautiful woman, women here. Can I help you? Are you the leader of this gang? Gang? We're hardly a gang, but I am the one they all come for direction. Well, you look like a gang. Zimmerman sent me. Looks a little bit nervous. What? Did he... To pay you back for killing his son. What? Those fucking piece of shit, ba uh, shit bastards! I'll kill them, I'll send them all to hell! Uh, what are you going to send to hell? Who are you going to send to hell? The regulators. They were the ones that killed Josh. I never would do anything to hurt Josh. It's the regulators who are running at him, not Zimmerman. This is a pathetic attempt to kill- to talk your way out of this. <laughs> Why would the regulators kill Zimmerman's son? Josh lived here with me. Uh, I- I mean us. He knew the truth behind what was going on. The regulators told him if he ever tried to con uh, contact his father or return to Aditum, they would kill him. They laughed at him. They were so sure he couldn't get to his father. They killed him. What did he do? Late one night, he tried to sneak into town to tell his father what was really going on. I was monitoring the regulators' radio transmissions that night. They... they got caught. She looks down and shakes her head slowly. Here, it's all in this holodisc. Why haven't you given this to Josh's father? It's like... it's not like any of us can even get close to Aditum. We'll be shot dead before we even reach the gates. Why don't you... why don't I give him the disc? You would risk your life to help us? I might. I need to go check things out before I do anything. Very well. I hope you make the right decision. Okay. This is interesting. Where's the holodisc? Is that it? Some strange mark. No, that's... No! Shit. Oh, crap. Can I... Yes, I can still pick it up. Okay, where's the holodisc? Strange marking. That's the... Information already stored, of course. That's the one that... I got from the super mutant. Where's the holodisc then? <coughs> mutant transmission, yeah. Can I use the radio here? Let's see, probably nothing. There's only static on the radio. Can I help you? Leader? Oh. Okay, the same thing. Why don't I give him the disc? Okay, she didn't give me the disc yet. Sure, anything to help. I'm not so sure it would help without the threat of violence to back it up. What we really need are some weapons from the gunrunners. Well, where are these gunrunners? Why don't you get some weapons from them? They're a little to the east of here, but there's a death claw nest between them and us. We have never s even spoken with any of the gunrunners. Okay, give me the holodisc and I'll go talk to the gunrunners before I approach Zimmerman. Thank you. This really could help us. Good luck. Okay, there we go. Let's see the whole disc. Blah, blah, blah. You gain 100 experience points. No, I always press character thing. Uh, regulator. Message sent. Regulator patrol to regulator base. Come in. Do you copy? Over. This is regulator base. Principal regulator Caleb responding. Report. Over. Sir, yes, sir. Regulator second class Kravota reporting. We've apprehended the Zimmerman boy trying to infiltrate our perimeter again, sir. Orders. Over. Shit. Again. Well, that's the last time that thing's going to happen. Eliminate him and make it look like the Blaze did it. Understand? Over. Sir? Uh, did I copy correctly, sir? Kill him? Over. That's affirmative, regulator. And I wanted Messi. Impale him on the gar uh, guard posts out front. Oh, and cut out his tongue so he can't talk while we attempt to save his sorry ass. Over. It shall be done, sir. Over. Ugh, that's gruesome. Bloody hell. It's extremely gruesome. Alright. So, now we're 
going here? I should probably say before I go to any of the death claw parts. And, I, you know, this is daylight. I'm starting to like this place. Very interesting. Oh, yeah, there's definitely. Oh, uh, yeah, death claws. Well, I can go over there. There's no death claws here. Let me see if I uh, go here. I just want the roof to go. There we go. <clears throat> Do I find parts here? Oh, there's a guy. That's probably him. Let's take the booze as well. That death claw is gonna see me though. Gotta be careful. Give me the guns first. How many hit points does he have? Oh, there's a st there's stairs down 225. Well, we can try and take him, but I'm probably gonna die. Uh, I have a feeling that guy has the parts we need, though. Let's see, can I shoot him from here? Out of range. 92 blood, yeah. This BB gun is excellent. Pick. I missed with 92. Come on. 15 hit points. Oh, <gasps> there's another one here. Oh, holy sh shit. Yeah, that's not great. Oh, very nice. I can try critting. A serious wound. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not good. This guy is not gonna go for me, though. Well, that guy is, but. Ooh, finally you're using the... Oh, that big gun. Ow. Yeah, we're... We're gonna die here. Ugh, 15, I should probably just shoot normally. Come on, don't go for me. Go for someone... Whoa, holy crap, dog meat. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Damn it. I have to get my health up for this. Actually, I always click through those death scenes. I should see what they say. Okay, let's sleep first. Morning. And morning. A couple more days, I think, should do it. Actually, this is pretty good. Yeah. All right, let's go. I do want to... Oh, you can rest at this location, of course. Let me see where they are. There's one here. There's one here. There's only two here. If I get only one of them... Yeah, I want to sleep one more hour or rest. So, you know, it's daylight. Because they don't really get much... Uh, many penalties for this. Uh, for fighting at night. Because they're melee. I do, though. So, the BB gun... Could try this as well. Uh, well. Let's do this. Twenty thirty. All right, well, there he is. Okay. Come on. Ninety-five. Excellent. Just shoot him from afar. Fifteen only. Oh, they got a lot of. They've got ten damage threshold apparently. Ow. I should. I could go for aim shots to try and blind him, but. Come on. Because if I blind... Well, actually, that already did more damage than two shots. If I blinded him, he would start running away. Yeah, get him. Ow, ow, ow! Bloody hell! 36 hit points. And I lose AP for having to get up. Great. What if I just run away? I think he'll still get a shot at me. Woof, woof, woof. Actually, what I could do is just keep running, and they shoot him. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, let me try that. I still think you'll get a shot at me, though. Oh. oh. oh almost. Yeah, now he will. It's probably not the best way to do this. I should just use my stand axe! <sighs> Crap, but the thing is, if you start doing this... Oh, he's almost dead, though. Yeah, if you start, you know, staying there and using the stim packs, you can keep doing it, because this guy is gonna hit you for a lot- Bloody hell! 
The dog meat is a mean dog. Holy crap. Okay, come and shoot him. Come on, shoot. Nice, he's almost dead now. Come on, dog meat. Oh. Damn, only one attack. How many hit points? Nine. Bye bye. <laughs> Excellent. One thousand XP. That's great. Well, let's go back and let's sleep again <laughs> until healed. Let's just click that. It's lovely that we don't have a time limit now, and I'm also quite happy with the fact that I didn't get the water merchants to go to the vault, so nobody actually knows about the vault at the moment. I hope, anyway. Oh, damn, we get our hit points back really slowly. Really slowly. Okay, excellent, it's gonna be morning. No? Okay. Morning. There. Okay, let's get the other death claw as well. Possibly with the same thing. Why are you using your knife again? Just get your best weapon out. Come on. Where's the other death claw? There he is. Would be lovely if I could hit him from here. Oh crap, there's two again? That's not good. They respawn apparently. Can I get- oh, there's another one there. Oh, there's the junk. That's what I need. Can I get this? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. And go, go! Hoo-hoo! Hoo-wee! Bloody hell. Yeah, I think this is what they need. Let me just bring this back. And then we'll see what we can do. We'll do it next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.